things will get things will get worse before it gets better. Whenever you are praying and you're asking God for anything and when you are, especially if you're asking for deliverance and change, perhaps in your family, perhaps for yourself, you want deliverance from certain things, uh, you become a new you become a new babe in Christ, everything is going to seem like it's just worse. Your worst, your, you, you will experience like your worst temptations. You know, it's like you're going to want to do a lot of things. All of a sudden, you know, now that you become a new believer, everybody want to now want to talk to you and by talk to you means all of a sudden there's this person maybe your ex will show up again there's all these opportunities to sin you're getting invited to all the parties and all of this suddenly okay um and then let's say some of you you may have you want to fast for your anger you're going to have your most angry outbursts Sometimes probably shortly after the fast or during the fast, or you're trying to, you're fasting against sexual immorality. And then during your fast or after your fast, you may have had a, a sexual thought or you may even fall. Okay. You end up maybe masturbating or doing something and you feel like straight garbage, right? And you wonder if the fast is even worth it. Was this worth it? I wasted my time. Look what I'm doing. I'm here to encourage you to just continue on. Continue on. Let me tell you something. People are not understanding. A, a lot of times we say it, but I feel like we still haven't fully grasped it. I'm getting to that point. Actually, I'm, I'm still learning more and more, but I am not for one second taking my eye off the fact that everything is supernaturally charged and that's where everything comes from right but at times I still need to delve deeper when certain things happen because you want to look at the surface but I'm here to tell you that when you are trying to when you want to get closer to the Lord Satan is not going to sit by quietly when you want to stop being sexually immoral that spirit that's been a part of your life forever is going to fight tooth and nail and the reason why that happens is because everything is choice, guys. The Lord, yes, there are certain things that as soon as you get saved and you pray and, and whatever, you will get instant delivery. And then there's certain things that's a battle. That spirit is going to fight. It's going to fight against you because at the end of the day, you may say, why don't God just by his power zap that spirit away? Well, God is a just God. And the bottom line is, it all boils down to your choice and my choice. He can't zap what you want. And the truth is, and, and that's why a lot of us don't get it. Some people's like, well, for example, well, why did God allow the tree of good and evil to be in the garden? Why did he allow it to be placed there? Why is it there? Why did he put it there? Some people may say he didn't put it there. The enemy put it there. Well, well why did he even allow that? Well, there's a power of choice. It's possible because it was possible for Adam and Eve to have not chosen that fruit. For for Eve, actually, to choose not to, to eat the fruit. She had that power. And then by her saying no, then by the power of the God, he does the rest. And so that's why, guys, you may say, well, why can't God just take all take all my issues away all at once? Because you have choice, you can go right back to it. You have to want it to be gone. And how he measures that, we'll never know. Sometimes we have our ups and our downs. But if you are consistent in trusting him, I'm here to tell you, you're going to be set free. Certain parts of our journey, certain things God will just take from us. And then other things, you're going to go through that process of you have to release it. There is power that's in our choices and what we do. And so once we get to this point where we're saying God is not just taking it from you. This is something that you don't want anymore. I believe that there is some, some, um, there is some transforming power in us making that decision. Having been in the fight, 
having been in the trenches, you know, and saying, God, no, having maybe having to fast, cry out to the Lord and endure what does not feel so good, what feels like you're wrestling, just like Jacob had to wrestle with the angel of God. I think there, there are portions of our walk where we have to go through that. Kind of like, well, like, why did Jesus have to get crucified, right? He's in the garden like, oh, I don't no, I don't really want to do this. Is there another way? So there are times in our lives where we have to endure. And there's several reasons for that. Because once you can face your contender, you face this thing that keeps you bound and it's fighting against you. And sometimes it's overcome. You over, you're overcome by it for whatever reason. You continue to pray, you continue to pray and cry out to the Lord. And it may seem like it's getting worse because that spirit is trying to prove a point. And the proof, the, what it's trying to prove to God is, I'm going to make her choose me. I'm going to show you that I'm her choice. God, I'm going to show you that I'm his choice. So they up the ante. They come in with, you know, un unloading all, all of everything on you and you feel overwhelmed. But I'm trying to tell you, you have to face the enemy. You have to face that thing. And you continue to pray and you continue to seek God and you seek guidance. And when you overcome that spirit where you are no longer, you're not fearful of whatever it may be. You overcome the spirit of anger. You overcome sexual immorality. You engage in all the ways that the Lord has given to you. Prayer, seeking the Lord, obedience. Guys, everything is not always spiritual. Even Proverbs, Proverbs tells you, don't go down to the way of the adulterous woman. Do not have that conversation. These are practical yet crucial teachings. Certain things, guys, if these are the things that causes you to get angry, you're an angry person. Maybe you shouldn't be watching TV shows that sparks your anger, violent shows that stir in your anger. If your thing is sexual immorality, then maybe you want to watch, you may be paying attention to the things that you're watching, right? who you're still contacting, who still have your contact information. What are you looking at? All right. Your thing may be unforgiveness and that's a whole different ball game right there. Right. Cause it's, it's not it. Maybe you don't want to watch materials that reminds you of the situation. Maybe you don't want to be having conversations with people that sparks and stirs that conversation that make you get angry all over again. And, there are things that the Lord will talk to you about as far as rules of engagement, you know, in dealing with individuals that bring you pain and how to deal with that person. And truly what it is, is giving the Lord your heart and really talking to him straight up, just like I'm talking to you right now about how you feel about it. And the thing is, you may not even want to forgive them. And you can say that to the Lord, you know, because I've done that, Lord, I really don't want to forgive this person, this person, these individuals, they have hurt me. I'm really irritated. But I know, but one thing I know is I want to be with you. I want to make you proud of me. So if you can just help me through this process, Lord, and show me, because I don't know how to do it. And you just talk to him like that. I ask you to help me and guide me. And the Lord will guide you guys. And you overcome. So I just want to encourage you today and let you know that you know, when you're a new believer in the Lord, you're going to have all types of challenges and ups and downs because now you are on, you are on the Lord's side. You're in his army now. And think of all the years that perhaps you've been in sin and this lifestyle and this habit and this way, and now you're trying to leave or you have left. They are going to fight against you, not because they love you and they miss you, but your soul, and if you can understand the value of your soul to Satan, you will kind of understand why he's going to fight against you. So stay strong, stay encouraged, no matter how hard it gets, no matter how bad it gets. Stay locked in to Christ and you're going to overcome.